Hi, Grade 8s. Uh, I just wanted to make this video to uh, show you guys how to perform and solve our F equals to MA, Newton's second law calculation problems. All right, so let's have a look at our example here. So we're given a situation where we have uh, a person pushing a lawnmower. So we've got a person here and they're pushing a lawnmower. And if you're not sure what a lawnmower is, it's, the, it's a device that's used to cut grass, okay? And generally uh, quite heavy. So uh, we're given a few pieces of information. We're given that the mass of the mower or the lawnmower is 24 kilograms. We're also given the net force on the mower is 51 newtons to the right. So 51 newtons to the right, so that means this person, as you can probably see here, is pushing in the right-hand side direction. So I'm just going to put an R to represent right. And he's using, uh, or actually, the, the 51 Newton of net force. So he may actually be using more than 51 Newtons. So just to reinforce the, um, the learning ideas here. So net force, force, whoops. Force net is the total of all the forces that are interacting, which means, let me just clear this up a little bit, which means this person might be using 61 newtons of force, but there might be 10 newtons of friction, and friction works against you. Okay, And so if we resolve that, 61 minus 10, we have... 51 newtons of, and we call that the net force. Okay, and lastly, we're asked to calculate what is the acceleration of the mower. Okay, so I'm just going to clear up this little stuff, this stuff here at the beginning about net force. Okay, so now we understand what it is 51 newtons of net force. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I suggest that uh, I'd like to simplify all of that wordy stuff into something that's a little bit more simplified. So this is using some of the, um, uh, the, the different variables uh, and units that you learned last time. So we're transferring the information here. So I'm just going to try to use some different colors to help you guys out with this. So the mass of the mower is 24 kilograms. So I'm just transferring that down here. Okay, and then we've got the net force is 51 newtons to the right, so that's over here. Okay, and then we're asked to figure out what is going on here. What is the acceleration? So again, uh, I like to use a question mark to help me represent. Okay, I'm trying to solve that. So let's get into our our calculations then. Okay, so we know we need to use Newton's uh, second law, F equals to m a. And we know we've got um, we've got m mass, and we got f. So we have this. Whoops. We've got this. We've got this, but we don't have that. Okay. So what we usually do is we rearrange or do some algebra and isolate m. Sorry, not m. A onto what we're trying to solve on one side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by m. And so that would cause the masses over here to cancel out. And that then leaves us with A over here and F equals to M over here, okay? And so, of course, we can rearrange this. So I'm just going to do a little bit of rearrangement like that, okay? So I'm just going to move this whole thing, okay? So uh, it doesn't really matter which side you write which on, okay? We know A is equal to F over M. Okay, um, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a final little bit here. That seems like it's invincible. It doesn't want to be erased. So we're going to finish off this off. We're going to do a direct substitution, 61 newtons, substitute that into F, 51 newtons, 24 kilograms. Whoops, shouldn't have overridden that. And it's going to be substituted into mass, 24, whoops, not 2. 24 kilograms 
And so remember that a Newton, so I'm just going to do this down here. Remember that a Newton is a kilograms times meters per second squared. Okay, and we talked a little bit about this last time. This is a derived unit. Okay, it just uh, says that a Newton, rather than writing all this, they wanted to simplify it. So a Newton represents all of that. Okay, so I'm going to break that out. 51 kilograms times meters per second squared over 24 kilograms. And I'm just going to use a white brush to erase this a little bit right there. Okay, and then so when we finish our calculations, so I'm just going to move down here now. So the calculation ends up being 2.1, okay, and we know that the kilograms will cancel, and then that leaves us with this little part left over, meters per second squared. All right, guys, so that's the uh, solution to our problem. So that's the acceleration, A equals to 2.1 meters per second squared. Hope that helps you guys out, and we'll see you guys back in school soon, hopefully.